Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I'm gonna do some boxing prospect reviews. Another, this, is another, this, is, this is another one of those videos where I'm gonna uh, to give my little, little take on some upcoming fighters in boxing. Uh, today, we will be talking about a guy who, uh, you know, he's had 16 fights, but not really uh, well known. Doesn't get really talked about by a lot of people. And I, I think of the American prospects. Uh, you know, this is a guy that should be getting more talked about. This is a guy that should be getting more love. And today we're, we're, we're going to talk about Chicago's very own Joshua Greer coming out of that Garfield Park gym, which is also home to the likes of Adrian Granados, Andy Ramirez, Nathaniel Gallimore, and formerly the home of Ed Brown, rest in peace, Ed Brown. So let's talk Josh Greer for a second. Joshua Greer, Bantamweight, 15-1-1 with uh, seven KOs. Um, I think he's another one of those guys in boxing. Man. You look at the, you look at the 15-1 record. With the one draw, you look at the seven KOs. You like just he's a whatever fighter. But if you if you've been following Josh Greer this year, particularly early in the year when he was having fights on Showbox, um, the guy's been delivering sensational sensational performances. Um, we're talking about. I mean, he had a fight earlier this year on uh, Showbox with James Gordon Smith, another uh, prospect, and um, you know for not having the re reputation as a big puncher, at, uh, since he's been campaigning back down at 118 because. Joshua Greer has campaigned sporadically through, through different weight classes, is different weight classes in his career. I think he's been trying to just find out what, what weight best suits him. So he's campaigned from as low as 118, as high as uh, 126. So all the way from bantam weight to featherweight. So we're talking, um, you know, three weight classes uh, with Joshua Greer. But ever since he st he settled at 118, he's looked very sensational. And he had a fight earlier this year with James uh, James Gordon Smith, and um, he got a stoppage victory. Uh, going, he was just moving backwards, and he shot a right hand down the pipe and laid the dude out. And uh, to me, as far as I'm concerned, that's going to be the knockout of the year. Not just for the knockout itself, the punch was perfectly executed, but it was the punch. But it was also what happened after that. He brought he, he brought a pillow to the weigh-in fight week for that. And uh, once he knocked him out, he got the pillow again. So he's a a, a tremendously uh, talented fighter, a young fighter. He's only he's only 23 years old. He is the youngest fighter in that gym in Chicago, and uh, I think he's just now starting to find himself as a as, as a fighter in his career. Um, look, look at his resume. His only loss of his career comes uh, at the hands of Stephen Fulton, another undefeated fighter. And when he fought Fulton, you know, he fought Stephen Fulton uh, not at bantamweight, but at super bantamweight. So he fought him four pounds above his best weight, and that fight was a close fight. That was a fight where uh, Greer – Got it. It was a majority decision, so it could that was a fight where it genuinely could have went either way for Joshua Greer, but uh, it ultimately didn't wind, wind up happening. Um, you know, basically, a, a lot of people thought it could have been a draw, so that's what it was. You know, I know Stephen Fulton from a little bit. I do know he was a he was a he was a talented amateur from the Philadelphia area. Didn't make the Olympic team, but you know, decent amateur, and he's uh, thus far you know hasn't really been tested too much in his career, but uh, has amassed a good pro record. I believe I think he's like twelve and zero. Uh, getting wins on PBC. So um, this is a guy right here where I think people should be paying attention to him because you look at Josh Green, you look at what he does do really good at the weight. Um, obviously a, a very strong fighter at the weight, a hard puncher, good boxing skills. He can fight. He can box a little bit, uh, which is what you like to see if, if, from a guy, you know, the fact that he can be multifaceted. And uh, I think for him, you know, for one, he gets good sparring. In the gym, you know, having guys like Granados, Eddie Ramirez, so that's that's always a good thing. I think gym culture plays a big role in how how far a fighter will go in the sport. And then aside from that, you know, I just think he's found himself at his proper weight. I think um, he wants the big fights. You know, recently on Instagram, uh, I saw that he called out uh, Nikolai Potapov, and for those of you guys who aren't following up on 118 pounds, Nikolai Potapov 17-1-1. Eight knockouts. His only loss, uh, Potapov's only loss, came to uh, Omar Nevarez, uh back in October of this year. That was a stoppage victory for him. But he also his most notable one came in the form of Antonio Nieves, who you guys may remember fought Nayo Anoye. So it's definitely a good fight for him. If you're a guy like Joshua Greer, you're looking to get into title contention. You know, Potapov is a good guy to fight because as of at the time of making this video, you know he's uh, he's currently ranked number twelve by the IBF, and he's ranked number two. By the WBO, so if Joshua Greer wants to work his way up those rankings and get in the line to fight uh, a dangerous fighter like Lozolani Tete or uh, you know a guy like Ryan Burnett, 
you know, he can he can he, he can do that by beating Potter Pop. So I wouldn't mind seeing that. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch a lot of Potter Pop. Just I think I've, I think I've seen clips here and there, but nothing. nothing I don't have, no no. I haven't seen enough of, of, of him to make a assessment of how I think that fight will play out. But this guy Greer, um, if if you're looking for him, because a lot a lot of times people people will say, well, American American fighters suck right now. The the, the, the talent of the talent pool of American fighters isn't that good. But I think if you're looking for a prospect that um, doesn't have a glossy record, but can actually do something in the sport. This is a guy I, I recommend you go check him out. Uh, just just look no further than his win against James Gordon Smith earlier this year. Uh, probably it's my KO of the year, uh, just for the way that punch executed in the in the in the, in the way he celebrated after it. Um, so this guy's been battle tested. You know, uh, Greer fought the likes of Stephen Fulton, who's a good fighter. Fought him at higher weights. He's fought at higher weights. He's fought at low weights. Although he's 23 years old, you know, he does have the experience of a of a young veteran. Meaning that he's maybe not had a ton of fights. Maybe he didn't have a, a great amateur background, but he's someone that has natural skills, and he's someone that because he's campaigned at different weights, he's experimented. He's fought guys bigger. He's fought guys smaller. He's fought guys the same size. Seen different styles. You know, this is a guy that um you could look at and say, hey, he's got some good ring experience to go to go decently far in the sport. So, um, do I think Joshua Greer can become a world champion? I would say yes. Uh, he has some ingredients to become a world champion. He's someone that, uh, if you're looking at a dark horse at 118 to become a world champion, this would be a guy, particularly if you're looking for a dark horse American champion, this is a guy. So I'm putting you guys on notice. You heard it here first. Joshua Greer, don't blink. Uh, go check him out, 15 one one seven knockouts. I think he's a good fighter. Um, and like I said, man, he's a great he's – he's another example of a guy who – you look at the record, 15 one one seven knockouts. You know, he's better – he's a lot better – than his record indicates. And when he's at 118, he's a lot harder of a puncher than his knockout percentage would indicate. So uh, keep that in mind. But uh, that's my opinion on Josh Greer. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you guys think about Josh Greer? Is he someone that you've seen fight? If you've seen him fight, let me know what you think about him in the comments down below. Follow True School Sports on Instagram at True School Sports. Like I always say in every video, you know, my name is Brendan Taylor. You know, we are uh, straight out of, hold on, straight out of this city right here, Dania. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. And that's Dania in South Florida, in case you didn't know. So until next time, take care, guys.